Uh, welcome to the last lesson of this module uh, and that that is module is about how the two factor authentication or the multi factor authentication could be bypassed could be fooled easily and in this scenario i am just going to uh, show you everything about how it is actually done and how the microsoft itself and the microsoft products like office 365 and the outlook web access both are vulnerable for two-factor authentication all right so accessing the two-factor authentication and having the bypass with using the powershell console or the powershell uh, tool itself is a big deal here that will be bypassing the two-factor authentication and uh, we can access the emails or whatever that is configured under the office 365 that will be easily available over the console without having the second authentication let's see how it is actually working for office 365 well before going to uh, start we need some uh, tools like this is the uh, mail sniper tool that we need to download from the github repository and uh, uh, this actually uh, get and fetch the microsoft exchange environment servers and uh, using the passwords authentications we can grab them all without having the second authentication or the two-factor authentication all right so uh, you can download from here and install it as simple as we use to import module the second thing is uh, what you need to know before you start so obviously windows 10 will be supporting windows 8.1 is also there 7 is also that is supporting and what we need to have in order to access everything you need to install the dotnet framework 4.5 or later and uh, then uh, you need to change your uh, set execution policy to remote signed so how it will be changed set execution policy remote signed just hit enter and it will just ask you some agree to or not agree to then you just say agree and it will be changed all right so i have shown all these things in the first lessons i think in the first module and all right so move to the next connect to the exchange online powershell so in this case scenario what we are going to do is connect to the windows office or the microsoft office 365 using the powershell command actually powershell have and the microsoft office 365 have the powershell module created under the powershell and that is the reason it is connecting to and using the powershell in order to make a authentication or credential box where you need to put the user id or the email address and the password then it will be authenticated and here is the fact lies that you do not need to put the two-factor authentication things like uh, SMS text messages or anything that are required for the second factor authentication and this is why it is bypassed all right so let, let me show you in action how it is done so after downloading this one install it and I have already installed so I am going to skip it that is the mail sniper and so I am going to use the command invoke self search mailbox is now uh, here we need to provide the mailbox that you have with the office 365 and if you have the id of the office 365 they can you then you can bypass it easily so in this case if i am going to use demo at the rate demo.com and 
the next thing is exchange host name so i'm going to use mail dot demo dot com and next part will be remote so now it will be uh, connecting to the remote system so the mailbox is the mail id and the exchange host name is there so once i am just going to hit enter it will ask me some credentials all right so enter your credentials so once i will just put the credential it will connect to the microsoft exchange server and it will undo the job according to what it is made for but actually it will miss the second factor authentication or even if there is multi-factor authentication it will also be missed so the password is i don't know exactly because this is the demo and it is how using the ews url that will be here so the exchange.asmx and by this way it will be connecting to that exchange server and it will be downloading all of the email address and the inboxes that you have in that email id and it will not be working as of now because this is the demo and the dummy and it is not going to work anymore but if you have the valid mail ids it can be bypassed because this is the security issues that has been uncovered by the security researchers and uh, details are available over the internet outlook web access or you can say outlook web app and the second is office 365 both are vulnerable for second fa factor bypass or the multi-factor bypass too so in short two-factor authentication or the multi-factor authentication both could be bypassed easily using the methods or, or, or around the powershell and some of the powershell scripts created by other all right so the next thing is at microsoft site here that i shown that how it will be getting around like user credential so if i'm going to copy this and put it all together it will be also asking for the same credentials but the difference is that there are simplified scripts under the mail sniper tool and we can use it easily so hope this will work for you and uh, uh, if you have the microsoft account here uh, with the uh, office 365 or the if you are belonging to a uh, university where the outlook web app is enabled for email access then you can bypass it easily and uh, as of now there is a uh, two-factor authentication bypass only for the microsoft things so if you have the account just enjoy it and you can bypass the two-factor authentication it will not ask for the either the text message either the code or whatever so see you in the next module Thank you.